level by level gaming and this is going to be a very exciting video for the PAPK3 Plus and that's because I'm going to be releasing my version 1 first iteration of the custom menu I've been working so hard on. I'm going to put a link to that, a download, in the description below so it is going to be available with this video. Now, if you're a first time visitor to my videos, to my channel, welcome. If you like what you see, please hit that like button. Also, hit me up in the comments, interact. I love it, it's great. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're a returning visitor and you haven't subscribed yet, also please consider hitting that subscribe. Um, I'm trying to make this a legit channel, guys. I'm trying to get it off the ground, get it running, and a thousand subscribers that would be my first milestone and I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, if you are a returning subscriber, you have been following my videos, you have been interacting with me in the comments, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. I can't stress enough how important you guys have been to this video series, to my progress, and you guys, I've been taking your comments, I've been taking your support very seriously, and this is the product of all your guys' suggestions. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So please consider that. Um, I do have a Patreon site. I'm going to also be providing for the first time a donation link with this video, a donation button. Um, so if you want to get plugged in, if you love what I'm doing, if you really want to uh, help me move forward, consider that Patreon. It's just a, a small way that if you feel led to do so, you could help me maybe purchase some of the competing devices uh, for this, Android boxes, other devices that you want to see this type of video. So, you know, if you feel led and if that's something you want to do, that would also be greatly appreciated. Now that I've gotten that spiel out of the way, let's jump right into what I'm done with this menu. Now, in here, what I've done since our last video is I've added the alt emulators for all with the Nintendo based systems. Now, if you remember correctly, the Nintendo original emulators, they don't do so hot. They work. I never really, really noticed it too much until I started digging into these things. Um, when I first got the device, it wasn't so noticeable that it was a put off. But now that I've been working with this thing for quite a while, these emulators aren't so hot. Um, they do the job but there are better alternatives. And a perfect example of that is the Game Boy Advance. If you go into the original Game Boy Advance, it plays these Pokemon here just fine. Um, no issues, no worries. But if you were to try to go to the Ruby, the Sapphire, I'm gonna get ahead of myself. Yes, the Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire. If you tried to go to any of these, let's just go with this one. You're going to get a white screen of death. It's going to crash on you. And that's with the original emulators. So when Jack put out his D menu, his external card alternative menu, he included some alternate emulators. And those actually run these games perfectly. So let's just go to the Alt GBA emulator here. And we should be able to play these. See, it gets past that white screen of death. I'm not going to go into great detail into my theory on why that happens. Um, but as you can see, we are there. And that's because this emulator is GPSP. Now what the emulator is for the base, for what comes on the system, uh, couldn't quite tell you. So anyways, whatever for whatever reason, the original ones don't work. And that is going to be the same way with all these. They're going to have problems, the originals, with Nintendo, Super Nintendo. People have been giving me comments and feedback that it lags. Uh, the Nintendo, I can hear for myself 
with the games that I'm testing glitches in the audio. So that doesn't happen with these. These are the best alternatives. Now, why did I just put the alternate emulators that Jack offers for these Nintendo-based systems, but not all the rest? And the reason that is, is because the Capcom Play systems, Neo Geo, Sega systems, all the Sega systems, those, the original does just fine. And that is the common consensus. I personally uh, feel the same way. So putting in alternates for those just wasn't necessary. I mean, if you really, really want an alternate in there, I can work with you on that. Possibly even make some videos later down the line just for specific things that you want. If you've been following my videos, you know all the Atari systems that I've added in, the 2600 all the way through the 7800, the Lynx, uh, PC Engine, television, all this stuff. If you want to see more of me doing those, just go back in the videos and you'll see when I added each one of those in. Um, that is where the menu stands now. Uh, you remember all the stuff that I've done. If you've been following the series, you know what apps I've put in there, what backgrounds and everything like that. So I'm not going to go back over all that. So that's that. Um, in the description below is going to be a link. Um, <laughs> there it is. If you like it, please download it, try it. Hit me back with some feedback on what you like and don't like. Um, also, please take time to read through the description. I'm going to put some details in that as far as what to expect, downloading it, the size of the image. I do have a 16 gigabyte card in here, and that 16 gigabyte card has 14 gigabytes allocated to where the games are stored and then the rest of it is allocated to the partitions that are the operating system and various files that are needed to make this thing work so this is a 16 gigabyte image so you are going to need a 16 gigabyte card you're also going to need to know how to take this thing apart um, get the SD card out of it so why don't I go ahead and demonstrate that. Now, <laughs> I did get uh, one or two dislikes, I think it was. I have to go back and look on taking this thing apart. And I believe that the reason that was is because I did switch over. Let me hit some more light here, see if that helps. Okay, so I couldn't really get a good video at the time of myself taking this thing apart so I went to a steel slide of the process and even now see how I don't know if it's the glare but my video camera really isn't working with me but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and try to keep it on camera and demonstrate using my handy dandy fingernail here I'm going to try to demonstrate taking this thing apart on film um, all the way through now the screws are out of this. In fact, this device has not had screws in it for probably a month or two now because I'm constantly taking it apart. Um, people are terrified of ripping their cable, their screen cable, their ribbon cable, and rightfully so. But guys, please don't be so scared that you don't get the fullness out of your vice because you're scared you're going to break it. Now, I've went along the edges and I've just popped this plastic loose. This device has been apart hundreds and hundreds of times. You're going to just peel it open like a clamshell. And you look right there's that ribbon cable. That is what has everybody scared to death. So, and I'm not downplaying it, so please don't take it like that. But it's not as fragile as, you know, you would think. Now, I'm going to reach in with my thumb, I'm trying to do this on camera, and I'm going to gently slide out the internal card. I'm going to ease it to the edge where I can get to it. There you go. Now, I can take this, set this off to the side, gently 
this thing will turn into a grenade of buttons and random stuff will come out while you're doing this. Um, just get used to putting these buttons back in, putting these volumes and stuff back in. That is lots and lots of practice that you just saw right there. There is the brains. And then what I'm going to do is get my handy dandy OTG adapter here. And I'm going to flash the image of this that I provide. If you were doing this onto your memory card, reverse the process. I'll go ahead and show that. I do have videos on putting this on your uh, card. So if you're first time or you've only watched a handful of my videos and you never saw how I clone a card, put an image on there, please just go back through the playlist. It's all there. If I'm missing something, if you really need to know and you can't find it, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to reverse the process here. Now mind you, I'm trying to keep this on camera. Just going to lay it down in there. Uh, just laid it just enough to get it started. Pop it in. Slowly lay this back down. Getting these buttons here. There's little tabs on in the inside of there lined up. You'll hear a satisfying click. Just run my fingers all the way around the edge here, making sure it's seated. Do a quick button check. Everything feels right. Nothing crazy. These didn't get misaligned. Hope I'm not boring you. And there you go. So, level by level gaming. Be prepared for my menu. I'm putting it in the descriptions below. Please subscribe if you have not. Also, consider hitting those Patreons and donate buttons. You guys are awesome. Thank you.